All right, next up in the series on the mini guns, I'm going to take a look at this uh, two millimeter pin fire semi auto revolver. I've done other videos on it, so I won't dig into it too much here, but this is really cool. It is a uh, two millimeter pin fire, which are these, and they're the, about the smallest uh, projectiles you can get, well, easily at least. Um, fairly easily. They're not inexpensive. These are all blanks, but there are versions with a little lead shot at the end that are actual projectiles. And with this particular gun, you should be able to shoot uh, projectiles, at least if you breech load it. Uh, I think that's possible. I'll have to do a little bit more research on it. But it has a complete barrel. Uh, you take it down by screwing out this little center post thing, lifting up here, and rocking this forward. And there's its cylinder. It'll just pop off. It does come with a second cylinder in this particular arrangement. All the arrangements weren't the same, but uh, this particular one came with a second cylinder set. And if you look at the cylinder there, there's a little notch on it, and I guess that's to help index it in the gun. So when you come up and set this thing into the center there, Oops, do this to the camera. That little notch there will correspond with that hole in the back of the, I don't know what you call that, like split cylinder. So we'll sort of line those things up. We'll bring it down to close. The hammer is actually the whole top of the frame. So when this thing comes over to the side a little bit, when they come together, at the top. When they come together it lines all up and then you put this little thing back in. Then uh, you had it all loaded up. Yeah, the pin fires are called pin fires because there's a little tiny pin sticking out the sides of all of them and that little pin would be sticking out this hole going, you know, these little notches going around and then as you pull the trigger, it rotates. And then the top of the frame there, which is all part of the hammer, is going to come down and smack in the pin. And that makes it go off. Uh, very well made. It's got little plastic grips. This is the, uh, I don't know how to say it, X-Y-T-H-O-S is the brand. Uh, basically a bunch of pieces of metal sandwiched together with some springs and a couple of cast uh, things like the cylinder. You can see the barrel is um, threaded, of course for a suppressor, or I guess more likely for this thing, which is a flare launcher. So you would get it started there. And now with your suppressor on there, you can drop a flare in the front. And then if the blank went off and blew all its, you know, charge forward, it would ignite the back of the flare there, and it would go flying out the front over six feet into the air and let people within a 12-foot radius know that you needed help. Uh, or you could just leave it on there like a cool James Bond suppressor and use your two millimeter pin fire quietly. Um, I'm not sure if this needs to be registered as a, as a suppressor tube. I better take it off of there before somebody asks me about that. So that's the, uh, how do you say that, Cyanos? I don't know, Cyanos? The little two millimeter pin fire semi-auto revolver. I guess one thing I didn't mention was the pack also comes with the blanks in this little box. Oh, I just ruined the sticker. There, a little box with a sticker on it. And I guess I could dig out this receipt. Or I guess it's the instructions on how to use the thing I just showed you how to use there. 
thought I had a receipt for it too somewhere. Anyhow, this is the um, two millimeter Pinfire semi-auto revolver. Let us know what you think in the comments wherever you happen to see the video. And stay tuned for the rest of the series on the mini guns. As always, thanks for watching.